Hello, shiny crafty people, and welcome back to the channel. Tim Totten here. And today I'm actually not making a mask video. I am actually gonna take you behind the scenes at our workshop so you can see the kind of stuff that we do here. And this is all to celebrate the fact that we have hit 25,000 subscribers on this channel. Isn't that crazy? Wow, you know, I actually started this channel a while ago to show off some of the products for my company and we used it as a, a channel for that. And then I just happened to throw a couple of mask videos on the channel to show people in my area how to make some of the masks we were doing for our Lake County Mask Creators Group that's now given over 30,000 masks out in the community. And then it got crazy. People started watching and now we've got a full-fledged channel where I show all kinds of interesting crafts. So instead of me just sitting here at the station where you normally see me with all this great fabric behind me, let me tell you where we are and what we do here. All right, so actually I'm gonna show you, I'm set up, I have a, a, a setup with a light and of course that table. And I always set my, my uh, ironing board up behind this table. Normally that's not there. I, I moved that from another part of the building. And, uh, and this is one of the sewing stations at my workshop. In fact, there's another one behind it. And there's one all the way over here because I have uh, four people who work here pretty much every day during the week sewing these products for funeral homes. So if you if you check out our, uh, you can check out our website, finalembrace.com. Um, it's not anything you're going to buy unless you own a funeral home. So if you own a funeral home, you might buy from us. But otherwise, it's going to be something that things that funeral homes use when they pick up people who've passed away. We make blankets and quilts that funeral homes use when they go to a place of death. So a hospital, nursing home, family's house, a hospice center, and they pick up somebody who's passed away. That person's uh, laid onto a, a uh, metal stretcher of some kind, and then they put a covering over them. And uh, we've decided to replace those sort of ugly fur and uh, sort of um, corduroy type of plain covers or the zippered body bags with nice, beautiful fabrics like all the ones you see behind me. And then we have a couple of really awesome things here. We have a huge, I'm, just, I'm so fortunate to have this. We have this enormous 12 foot long by six foot wide table and it is a self-healing mat. So we can cut on this with a rotary cutter. It's so good. We can cut with a rotary cutter and oh, it makes it so much easier. So we roll all the fabrics out. You'll see behind us some, um, what we call fluid blocker fabric. It's a, pack, a nylon pack cloth that we use to line our materials with. And we can pull materials off of the racks over here, lay them out, roll them out to the right length. And most of the things that we do are a are hundred or more inches long. So. Uh, it allows us to do that. And then you'll see we have this great rack that one of my employees made. Her name's Bonnie. And she built this rack uh, so fantastic. It it's, holds all of our quilt squares when we make our ones that look like beautiful quilts. So we have strips that we cut out and then we put them together into long strips that then get cut into squares and that gets made into quilts. Now also in our facility is our storage area. So behind me, um, you're gonna see I've been working on a few other projects, I'm running into garbage cans as we walk. And uh, this is Roseanne's station. She makes everything here that has a zipper. So you'll see some zippers off in the corner that are hanging down. And um, past that, we go through, and this is our break room area. So our staff has a nice place to eat. And they have, um, they have a bunch of product on the shelf. Of course, a couple extra sewing machines that I think those are needed to get repaired. Our guy Jim comes once a month for that. And uh, you'll see all the great lighting that's back in the in the, the room there. And then as we come through, you'll uh, you'll see that we have more fabric. Uh, these are actually quilts that we, we use to make some stuff. And of course, all these products on the shelf. Oh my goodness, there's so much. All right, well, um, that is a brief tour of a couple of areas in our workshop where we make all these great products for Final Embrace. That's what you see behind me whenever it's time for a, a video that I'm making. And of course I am making a video right now. I'll show you, I'm starting a new series that shows people how to take a pre-made uh, pre quilt from like a store and turns it into things like, ooh, like placemats and a few other things. So stay tuned to the channel. Thank you for joining me for this quick tour of my workshop so you can see where I'm bringing these videos from. Until next time, folks, make sure you like, subscribe, pay attention to the channel, give me some thumbs up, make comments. I love interacting with you. And until next time, stay crafty. All right, back to work. Bye for now.